My name is John Townsend. For my living, I spent 35 years as a cab driver in central London, which I think as far as air pollution is concerned, you couldn't have get a worse job. Mine was a 10 hour day driving around London with the diesel engine stuck in front of me and all the filthy air anyway. Now, my breathing is appalling, obviously. I suffer from very severe COPD, which is caused by smoking and by the air pollution. I'm Jeff Owen, and I've been cycling for 60 years. I've always been conscious of air pollution. I've often thought, was it doing me any harm to cycling in London? I'm not sure. Breathing air of poor quality can have both short-term effects and long-term effects or chronic effects. The short-term effects are loss in lung function. Some people will feel a tightness across their chest. Some people will feel an irritation in their throat. But all these effects, which are triggered by exposure to nitrogen dioxide, which we associate it with exhaust emissions or particulate matter, are all reversible. What is much more worrying are the chronic effects of air pollution. These effects ultimately lead to the development of a disease such as asthma or COPD or heart disease take probably many decades of exposure. You can give people the impression that if they were to stand at a bus stop and a bus was to come up and you were sitting there in the exhaust fumes, then everybody would be dying of a heart attack. And that's clearly not the case, but really, the very serious effects are the effects which accrue over long periods of time. We're talking about changes which can occur in the structure of your airways. And these don't happen overnight. These happen over years and years of being exposed to slightly higher levels of pollution. Air pollution is an urban problem. It's also a rural problem. And it's not just confined to the big urban areas like London and Birmingham and Manchester. It also affects our medium-sized cities. In the UK, there's 245 councils which have declared that they have an air quality management area, which are areas where air pollution targets either have not been met or are not going to be met. Because air pollution is an invisible entity, not many people really understand the challenge that it is having to their own health or their children's health. By changing the way you move around the city, you can significantly reduce the amount of pollution that you're exposed to. And so we're going to have to change our behaviour in order to maybe limit our exposures to pollution.